How you doing? Rowan from JTS here. Uh, we've had this Explorex van in this week. Um, anyone who knows their vans knows that these are built tough, beautiful machine. Um, and we've done a, an upgrade to lithium, uh, as well as a bigger lithium system, like it's, it's quite big. We'll go through that in a moment. We've also done a few other little tidbits. They live in this van, so they're getting a few things as they go along. So uh, one of the things at the front here, we've got a savvy level, and that means that they can get on their phone while they're sitting in the car and get the level a bit, bit better, which is pretty handy. Um, we're also trialling a new wrap for the front of uh, the vans. Um, I can't lay claim to the idea. We saw it on another van, and it's a spiral wrap, um, a good strong spiral wrap, not a not a weak one. And we're putting that around to um, to try something a bit different. We've also got the safety day with the with the wasser cable, and uh, I'll show you inside. But we've got quite a bit going on in there as well. So here we are inside. Um, under this seat here is where most of the power goes. Um, so we've upgraded from 100 lithiums and we've given them two three fives from Provolt. Now these are beautiful battery but in a small form factor so they're very good with Tetris. Um, and 2600 from Minidrive so that's wired into the whole system with the changeover working so that when they take away from the caravan park everything the inverter takes over and everything operates as it should. Uh, air conditioning, microwave, everything. Um, the rest of the power system is actually up in here behind this panel, which is uh, a bit unusual, but seems to work very well for this particular van. Let's get in a little, little bit closer and I'll show you what's going on. So in the chair here, as I said, we've got the two batteries and they replace the two 100s and we've got the 2600. Um, the charging system's up in the top and it's a manager 30 and we've added to it another DC-DC 1240. Uh, and the reason for that is so that they're going to get Better solar, we've increased that, and also we, they're going to get a little bit better charge from the car as it's driving along. Uh, just down in here we've got the shunt for the Manager 30, we've got some breakers and a large fuse of course for the 2600 inverter. <clears throat> now the 2600 inverter has been wired in by our electricians, in style electrical we use, and they've certified it and it's all set up and legal ready to go. Up in the top cupboard here, this is where it gets a little bit unusual. Um, I've not seen a power system up above the fridge before, except for in these vans. So the Manager 30 is parked up in here, and it is quite keeps quite cool in here because of the way the venting works. There's vents at the top and there's vents at the bottom. Um, and we put the DC-DC in there as well. Uh, there are some circuit breakers in here, and uh, we've also got all the wiring for the back of the, um, of the display panel. Now, I'll close that up. Just got to make sure we get that antenna in. <clears throat> Bit tricky, that one. And then on the front, you've got the, the normal Manager 30 display. Um, you know, we're at 69%. We've been running it all day with the fridge all overnight. Um, yeah, running like a beautiful thing. Thanks very much. And if you want to get your van upgraded to get off grid a little bit more, give us a call. We'll have a conversation around the best way to start looking at that system. Thanks very much. Hey, thank you, yes. See ya. See you next time.